Good morning, guys. Happy Easter. Um, I am currently stretching because we are about to go outside and jog and walk around for an hour, which I'm really excited for. It's a little overcast, but it's 71 degrees outside, or so my um, phone says. So I'm pretty excited. We're not um, going to be doing any Easter festivities today. Um, we might get chocolate. I don't know. I don't really crave uh, sweets right now, which is interesting. Last night, my stomach was kind of hurting, um, which was the die-off of the... Uh, Brian, help me out here. Candidiasis. Candidiasis. Um, I guess from not eating carbs. It's yeast in your stomach. Yeast in your stomach. I should know that. So the yeast is dying off. Um, but other than that, everything's going well. We had two eggs this morning and some water, and I feel great. And yeah. I love it when my feet don't touch the ground, touch the ground. Don't want to let these colors fade. Kaleidoscopes. Hi, guys. Look, I'm outside. Yeah. Life of a gamer, right? Um, it, it is really nice outside. They weren't lying when it was like 71. It was great. Um, sorry. Hold it. There you go. Um, but the storm clouds are coming in, um, and it's really windy, but it's the first time the wind hasn't been super cold, so that's pretty cool. Um, so we're walking through a park that's super wilderness-y. I guess, like, to a lot of people it's not that big of a deal, but being from California, like, you have to go up north or to a camping site to see anything like this. So, um, Brian and I came here before, and <clears throat> there was like no green whatsoever. But now, like you can see, the trees are starting to like bud, and you can't really tell, but it's it's super awesome. If anyways, um, we're just walking quickly. We're not just going for a walk. Um, the way Brian explains it, someone had their hand on your back and was pushing you along. So we're kind of power walking. Right now, no, because I'm vlogging. But um, And then I think we will be able to start running soon. Uh, just trying to get the knees and the cardio going. Come see what Satan spawns look like.
Right there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Oh, he comes over. He knows. He knows I'm talking about him. Get one up. What's up? If he jumps out there, I'm peace. So y'all talking shit, I'm out. I feel bad for me. Actually, it has like a scar on his neck. On the left side. Cool, yeah, that's pretty good. But maybe he's been left behind. Yeah, where's his friend at? There's two over there. But I don't think you travel in pairs? Oh, okay. Hey guys. Um, so I realize it's dark outside which means that i haven't recorded since this morning um so let me let me catch you up on what what was going on uh when we got back from our walk uh we got the house ready for a visit that we were having um for these people that are fostering a dog that brian is going to be adopting um it's a retired greyhound and they call it retired racers I guess and um, we were just seeing if uh, how the dog was the personality of the dog um, if the dog just like got along with the, the apartment that we're in so um, the dog is super super awesome What's the right word? He is adorable. He's really tall and he comes all the way up to my hip. Um, we got the word that we are approved for the dog, um, which means that that the next streams and um, some of the vlogs, you'll probably see the dog in it. Um, he's really cute, so you, I think you guys will love him. Um, other than that, we, after, after the people left uh, with the dog, um, we walked all the way down to the grocery store and we didn't check to see if they were open. I think we were just like really excited from the visit and then also we were really hungry. Um, they were closed. Um, the grocery store was closed today on Easter, which is weird for me because I don't, I could be wrong, but where I live in Southern California, the grocery stores don't close for the whole day so that was a little bit of shock for me and I guess Canada up here in Canada they have more holidays and they actually give time off so wow go figure time off on a holiday right um so we just ate the rest of our turkey and chicken so we definitely need to go to the grocery store tomorrow um but also means that we did not pick up any chocolate or wine or any of that sort that um, I was looking to do today so maybe tomorrow I don't know we got we got if we get past today then I think we're good for tomorrow but um, I still have um, the leg workout I need to do so even though it's like 8 o'clock at night so I gotta do that um, we are currently in second period to third period intermission uh, the Rangers are losing one to zero. I'm not too happy about it, but what can you do? I mean, if they want to like give me some pads and a stick, and I can go in there, right? I can be like Smith and check people into the boards. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyways, um, yeah. I took a nap too, so I'm like really out of it don't do that but uh overall a uh, little bit of update since this is day five um my body like I, I feel better like i i feel um i feel more positive on most days uh, now that my body is getting used to eating every two to three hours i find that i also have more energy i had no caffeine today and Besides me taking like a small power nap um, when we got back from the grocery store and after eating, um, felt fine. So it's pretty, it's, 
it's uh, the benefits are really paying off. I've also um, I feel like I've lost a lot of weight. Well, okay, a lot. It's relative. I I've lost enough weight to realize the difference in my body. Um, I am just like not having the bloated feeling anymore, and um, I feel like I can move around. Like before, I felt sluggish. So it's it's definitely worth meal prepping and going to the grocery store and planning things out and uh, sticking to it because um, the benefits really outweigh um, the food cravings and such.